shopping. Do you like the bungee depth compensating systems or do you like the more traditional rubber systems? What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kickers Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now back in the early days of Lake Kickers Scuba and YouTube, we did a series called Scuba Tip of the Week and that's where I made short little videos just showing you little tips and tricks that might help you out going down the road as a diver and that's what we're going to do in today's video. It's going to be really short, quick, to the point, but I'm going to show you a neat little trick that most of our instructors here do and it really helps us out out because as instructors we find ourselves diving in all different types of situations whether it's warm water cold water dark water or clear water and there's some frustrations that can come with having multiple gear sets and having to change in and out of different gear sets so I'm gonna show you a neat little trick that works for us and hopefully it'll work for you as well all right, to start this little scuba tip of the week for you, first of all, I want to explain what I've got here in front of me. I've got several different dive computers from the Marez line. I've got a Quad Air. This is from the SSI Pro version. I've got a Marez Smart, just a standard March with, uh, Smart, which is a, a watch-style computer. I've got a Marez Genius, and then I've got another standard Quad Air here. Um, the two Quad Airs are identical, other than one being a Pro version, one's a, a standard version, but you'll notice that the strap systems are a little bit different, which is the purpose of this video. And I kind of want to explain what I've done here and why it might help you in the future. When you go diving, if you're an avid diver, that means you dive year-round. Maybe you dive warm water, cold water. You're going to be in all different types of exposure suits. If you're in a warm water diver, maybe you like to travel. If Personally, like me, I wear a watch-style computer a lot. And so the Mario Smart is a great option for me. The problem is, is if I try to wear this in the wintertime, maybe I'm in a thicker wetsuit, thicker gloves, or even in a dry suit, I can't really get this strap system around a thick suit of some type. So usually what I have to do is jump up to this extender here. And basically this extender is just a one-piece uh, watch strap, if you will. And it just kind of attaches to your watch strap, extends it out, and now you've got a big strap here. And that works great. There's nothing wrong with that until you go deep. As you go deeper and deeper and deeper, your suit is going to compensate due to uh, the depth or due to Boyle's Law. And I really need some type of depth compensating strap system. So as my suit compresses, the watch will get tighter or the computer will get tighter. And as the suit expands back out during the ascent phase, it will loosen back up. Um, and in, the same would actually apply with a strap system like this. This is a standard quad air, and you'll see it's got an extremely long strap system, which makes it very nice if I'm diving, say, in a thick wet suit or even a dry suit, because I've got this big long cuff that can kind of go around and tighten down. But then again, if I try to wear this with a wetsuit, once I have it tightened up, there's really nowhere to put this strap. And a lot of people will make the mistake of just cutting the strap. Well, the problem with that, now they can't actually use this in a, uh, say, a cold suit type situation. So one of the things I like is a depth compensating system. So as I go deeper and deeper and my suit compresses, I want that computer or that watch to get tighter. And as I come back out or come back to a shallower depth, as it expands out, I want to, to stretch so it's not too tight on me. And that's where the bungees come in. Now, this is nothing really new. This has been around for a very, very long time. Uh, there's a lot of older companies like Trident um, and things like that that would sell a depth compensating strap system, whether it was Velcro or bungee. So the idea here is not something new. It's actually been around for a while. But I want to show you how, I'm going to show you two different versions of this and how it might help you in the future as far as wearing your computer. First of all, I'm actually using, this is my personal dive computer here, and I'm using four millimeter bungee so it's good and sturdy and I've just got a one piece um, a bungee here it's a solid piece it goes all the way through and not only is it depth compensating meaning as my suit compresses this is going to get tighter and vice versa but it's also adjustable if I need to tighten it up all I've got to do is just pull here on one of the ends tie that knot and now it's adjustable in, in that sense so it makes it really nice but over here we have two individuals. Now, this is one of our other instructors. He dives the Mario's Genius, and he actually has two bungees on here. Now, the reason he has two is because he's using a much thinner bungee than what I am. Mine's a four millimeter, and this is more around a two millimeter, if you will. And the issue he has here is if one of these breaks, because it's not quite as sturdy, he wants a secondary system there. So let's say if the first one breaks, he's not gonna lose his computer. It'll just kind of flop there with him. But with two on there, 
obviously it's more sturdy, but in the event that one breaks. So he actually likes two versus just one. Now to actually change that out, you've got to make sure your computer has a post system that's that'll allow it. On these little watch style computers like I typically wear every day, they there's no real way to add a bungee system to it. The band is actually part of uh, the housing of the computer itself. So on a computer system like that, you're really not going to be able to do this. But on, say, the Genius or even a standard Quad Air, all you have to do is pop these little pins out. They're very simple to do. You just take your little punch, push through, pull the pin out, do the same thing on the other side, and you're going to take this big bulky profile and you're going to basically turn it into this, just a flat style computer. And these basically have these little posts on it where the bands and the pins mount to. And all you've got to do is just run your bungee through. Now, however you decide to run it through is going to be completely up to you. Whatever size bungee you want to use is going to be completely up to you. Me personally, I like 4 millimeter. Uh, some of our guys here, they like the 2 millimeter. Um, but you don't want to make it too tight because you want it to make sure that it can expand and still have the elasticity to it. But then again, you don't want to make it too loose. So if you're going, say, from a cold water environment over to a warm water environment, you want to make sure that it's still going to be nice and tight. And if you do it like we do to where you can actually make the adjustments in it so I can tighten it up, then it's going to work fine for you because I can tighten it up, I can loosen it up. Now, as an instructor, a lot of times I will give my computer to somebody during the class or the pool portion of their class and say, here, try this out, see what you think. And then that, yeah, that's kind of a sales tactic for us. We let them try it before they buy it. But it really works, comes in handy for us because we can adjust it down very quickly for them, just like you could with a strap system here. But in a thin suit, of course, you're going to have all this sitting here flopping around and I don't really want that. But this neat little trick has worked for me for several years now and I really think it's going to help you out as well. But let me know down in the comment section below what you think. Do you like the bungee depth compensating systems or do you like the more traditional rubber systems? So there you go guys, that's this scuba tip of the week. I know it's been a while since we've done these. I try to keep this video as short as possible for you. Depending on the scuba manufacturer that you go with, whether it's Shearwater, Mares, Scuba Pro, your computer system may be a little bit different. It may be a little bit harder to put a bungee system on it. But hey, if you can do it, by all means, try it out. See if you like it. And it can even be a backup that you put, say, in your save a kit as well. It's always easy to carry a couple little strands of bungee with you. And this is a simple project that you can do that will definitely help you out down the road. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always guys, we appreciate your business.